Tinsa hizi, tunashukuru sana mwezi. Sawa, tuko pamoja. Sio sema kitu. Um, tunasema tunasema asante sana. Mimi ni Asla wa Dandorani. Na tumetusaidia hapa sasa tukaendelea kabisa. Tumepata kazi na familia zimesaidikia hapa. Asante sana. kwa majina naitwa na Bob Karanja mimi ni asilo hapa Dagureti Kona kwa Umzai na sasa vijana wamepata kitu ya kufanya hawatakaa hido tena e, tuna hustle kabisa na tunashukuru pamoja pamoja kwa majina naitwa Mwangi kutoka Ebakas West kwa mheshimiwa Lauri tumeshukuru sana tumekumbuka maasla Shukrani. Mimi nimekumbuka sana. Pamoja. Pamoja. Sawa. Huyu anataka kusema kitu. Eh asante sana. Eh si ni wa Keje na tujua hapa ukarika. Eh tumeosha na ndoo miaka mingi sana. Sasa hivi umetusaidia. Eh bana jo. Eh tumetumia ndoo sana. Sasa hivi acha tumia kama mashini jo. Keje, shikilia bana. Na jo msai. Eh mimi naitwa Nderito kutoka Dagoret South. Mwishi wangu hapa hivi rada safi. Eh. Ameshafisha rada. Eh. Uko nyumbani kazi inapigwa kabisa. Eh. Shukra Pamoja. kabisa. Kaos na jengo tena Mwishi amesema anatutengeneza kaos. Haya. Asante sana Your Excellency. So eh, kabla tujaanza nataka niize niite mzee Kabucho. Mzee Kabucho akutombe. Oh, okay. Atombe tafadhali. Habari yenu? Wacheni tuombe tunashukuru kukuja kwa nyumba ya hasla. Yenyewe si kitu ya kawaida. Bado ni miracle. So tunashukuru sana. Wacheni tuombe. Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. We say thank you, Lord, for this day, for enabling us to come to this place, Father Lord. We pray for this meeting. Guide us, be with us, dear Lord. Now pray for every leader in this place, dear God. Bless him, our deputy president, dear God. Bless him and bless his family. Amen. Amen. My friend. Yeah. Salamu. Yeah. Yeah. Asante sana. Uh, number KJ, social distance, kido. Eh, asante. Eh, Your Excellency, unajua mimi leo ni siku ya Embakasi North, Embakasi West na Dagoreti South. Lakini kwa sababu wako hapa Your Excellency, hata kama hapa ni Aslas Mansion, hapa pia ni constituency yangu ya Langata. Na mimi nimekuja hapa kukaribisha hao mahasla. Nataka niseme karibuni sana. Your Excellency, nataka nishukuru kwa hii mradi ya post COVID kwa sababu watu wameumia sana vijana wengi wa mama wajane wameumia sana kwa sababu ya hii coronavirus. Your Excellency hao ni vijana ambao wana hasolingi kule mtaani. Wengine wako kaosh, wengine wanafanya mambo yao ya biashara ya beads, wengine wako na pigs, wengine wako na boda boda. Na vile ilikuwa imewekwa curfew Your Excellency ya kuanzia saa mbili, hao watu walikuwa na nyumbani wanalala njaa. Na saa hizi biashara zao zimeenda chini na nashukuru kwa sababu Umeona utusaidie kama viongozi wa Nairobi wote na leo umaanza na constituency tatu na nashukuru kwa sababu umetuambia Langata constituency stare constituency kule Mbakasi eh, kwa Mejadong tutafanya next week pia hapa excellency na hizo constituency zingine zote akina Kibra akina Ruaraka akina Madhare na shukuru kwa sababu umesema at least utafika huko kuwasaidia mahasla ndio wapate wa machines kama hizi waweze kufanya biashara zao ama si tuko na furaha Eh hey, asla nasimama na asla wengine si ndio? Eh hey, mradi ya, ku, ya kuinua mahasla. Na nashukuru your excellency. This goes a long way. Kuna watu your excellency wanafikiri kupata machine ama boda boda ama kawa cha shilingi 1030 ni kitu kidogo. Watu wanashindwa hata kulipa rent ya shilingi 1300. Watu wanashindwa kulipa rent ama kuta, upata chakula tu ya shilingi moja kwa siku inakuwa ni kitu ngumu. Na vile umefanya ni kitu ya maana sana. Tunakuombea na Mungu akubariki. 
na shukuru sana kwa, kwa, kwa watu walangata hapa your excellency nimekuwa nikuja hapa sasa na kusumbua una katupia kakao shika moja kakao shika pili na shukuru hata size ukiniambia nikae wiki mbili nyingine tatu nitakungoja kidogo kwa sababu najua utanifikia ndio tuweze kusaidia kule maislando tufike kule maislando pia tuokoe jeshi ya huko maislando ama ni aje mama adam mkopoa ama ni madem e, madem eh? na machali tuko sawa eh sana nataka nichukue fursa ya excellency niishe niite mheshimiwa uh, gakuya aka bazenga buda eh yeah, aseme jambo uh, your excellency uh, the deputy president of republic of kenya uh hasolas from eastland and also Daguriti. This is a good opportunity that we are now where we can call home. This has been a very uh, uh, tragedy time where this COVID has totally destructed business, various business of this generation. And these are SMEs and uh, it has been very tragic. People to get even food on their table, it has become a problem. And today, these groups have seen a light that they have seen you are helping hard uh, in terms of getting equipment so that they can be able to get back to their job. Uh, in Embakasi North, where I come from, I have various number of uh, these youthful leaders, uh, youth, youth teams, which actually are trying to maneuver here and there to find their way to at least to keep themselves their self floating but it has been very difficult today we can say that in fact it's a is a good day and it's a big day to us that we are in the presence of the midst of the deputy president where we will walk home with our bags full uh, this is a golden opportunity his excellency and we totally thank you very much may god bless you Ningetaka kusema ni hatua kubwa sana na kwa wale wetu ambapo tumejaribia mashini kama hii uh, his excellency this is a golden opportunity na tumekuomba hiyo roho yako hiyo roho ya utu ya kukubuka hawa watu wanaitwa mahasola tunasema Mungu akubariki akujaze mifuko yako uweze kukubuka mahasola wengine tuweze kupata mwangaza ile kitu tu ningesema uh, watu wa, 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 wangu wale wa represent vikundi kwa sababu vikundi vyote hatungeweza kuwazibarika hapa tumeita watu watatu kutoka kwa group ni kwamba hizi group ziko na uh, members wengi na ni kwamba wale wamefika wengi tulisema treasurer chairman na treasurer ili waweza ku represent the rest of the team kwa sababu ya hii shinda za janga la corona kwa hivyo najua wa timu mambo ya corona ikiisha tugeomba his excellence wale wote watafaidika Atuite tukua uzote tuje tuluche shukurani kwake kwa kiwanja hapa sasa tukiwa hatuna mashariti hiyo ya social distance na ni vizuri niwaambie ndugu zetu ukiona rafiki anakukumbuka wakati wa shida ni mzuri ukumbuke hiyo ni rafiki wa dhati na wewe wakati wake ukifika ambapo anakuhitaji kuna mtu watasema kweli kuna jambo lingine zinikurudisha mkono mahali unakumbuka umepata usaidizi au namna gani so kwetu kama Nairobi his excellency tunajua kuna mengi kuna siasa mingi lakini sisi tunasema tunataka kuona ukiunganisha ama Kenya ikiungana pamoja na tukisonga mbele na tungetaka hiyo mkono wako mkono wa kupeana tungeomba hiyo mkono iendelee na hiyo mkono isigujike hata kidogo na isinyimwe baraka hata siku moja hii nyoroke na ipate kutusaidia kwa maana vikundi ni wengi na tuna furaha umetuali ume, umetuashua leo ukimalizana na hii timu wakati mwingine tutaenda loud na ukimaliza loud ya kwanza utatukumbuka tena loud nyingine tugeomba hiyo ifikie na tunashukuru sana na haswa mimi ningesema ni kwamba wewe ni baba umekumbuka watoto wako nao watoto wako kwa baba na tukiwa hapa tuko nyumbani Nanyi mukirudi manyumbani mpeleke salamu usahasura na mjue barabara yetu iko hapo thank you very much
Ningeomba nimalize tu mara moja na embakasi North. Kuna hasura moja tu tungetaka tu amke uranjijua kuja hapa. Haraka useme kitu moja tu ili tupatie nafasi wale wengine. Karibu. Habari yenu tena. Mheshimiwa Deputy President na wabunge wetu, tunasema ni asante kwa siku ya leo. Kwanza nashukuru na sana MP wangu Mr. James Gakuya kutupea hiyo opportunity kuweza kukuja hapa na kuweza kuonana na wewe. Tunashukuru sana. Sisi kama watu wa Embakasi, tunafurahia sana umekuwa na sisi wakati wote tukiwa na shida wa mama wetu, vijana wote unawasaidia. Na si yenyewe tunasema kama vijana wa mtaa, kama watu wa Embakasi North, sisi tuko na wewe pamoja hadi 2022. Hatuwezi kuachilia mkubwa. Tuko pamoja. Tunajua sio rahisi lakini tunajua tutafika. Tunashukuru sana na sina mengi ya kusema. Inaweza sema tu Dandora kuna opportunity mingi sana ya vijana. Kenye tunakosa tu ni support. So tungeomba sana kama kwa ofisi ya Deputy President na mheshimiwa wetu tutashukuru sana. Asante sana sana. Ah. Your Excellency and William Samoei Arap Ruto wajumbe wa Nairobi Nikisema hustle vipi mnasema hustle poa hustle vipi hustle vipi hustle poa na hasla na kama mko nyumba ya hasla pia si kelele kidogo tujue tumefika kelele 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 kabisa Your Excellency the Deputy President I'd like to recognize a team from Dagoreti South constituency uh, viongozi wote wa kutoka Dagoreti South constituency simameni wajulikane wako hapa wana Dagoreti South simameni ndio hao wamefika kuwakilisha vikundi vya kutoka Dagoreti South Your Excellency the delegation was led by two young people he's right there na coaches getahi yuko pale ndio wao mahasla wako hata ukiangalia hiyo maski yake naona imeandikwa mambo ingine utakaribia DP aone hiyo maski nasema namna gani Your Excellency hii ni Nairobi na hapa Nairobi hawa hawalimi kahawa hawalimi majani hawana mchele hawana ngombe za maziwa hawa watu wanalima hustle na hustle za Nairobi ni mingi Your Excellency kuna wale wako kwa kawash kuna kina mama wetu ambao wako kwa saloon kuna vijana wetu wengi sana ambao walikuwa wanacheza mpira na ligi zimesimama sasa kuna wengine wameanzisha biashara za mitumba biashara za nguo wengine ni mafundi na unajua Dagoreti talanta ni mingi your excellency so wakati umetuita na ukatujulisha kwamba una mpango ya kuweza kuwasaidia mahasla wetu waweze kujikimu wakati huu wa covid sisi hatuna lingine tunaweza sema ila tu kusema asante na asante na asante zaidi Your Excellency Dagoreti South tuko na timu kumi na zina represent Kawash kumi. Ukiona watatu kutoka kwa Kawash moja they are probably representing 25 30 or 50 young people from the constituency. Hani watu watakuwa wanategemea hii hasa ambayo unawaimarishia una, una leo na tutarudi tutazidi kukushukuru Your Excellency. Kule nje kunao pia kina mama ambao walitutuma na salamu kwako wakasema wakati unafaidi vijana usisahau kina mama kwa mipango yao ya vikundi vyao kule nyumbani kwa mipango yao ya hasole yao wao tao wanangoja siku yao wafike hapa lakini kwa leo ile ambayo imepatikana your excellency sisi tunasema ni asante na asante zaidi na tutajua hii tunajua inakuwa ni mara ya kwanza lakini sio ya mara ya mwisho tutakuwa hapa so your excellency on behalf of the entire team from Nairobi and specifically from Dagoreti South constituency I'd like to say a big thank you and keep doing what you're doing Hasol vipi Hasol vipi Hasol poa na hasla ikifika ile wakati nayo nyi mtamkumbuka hasla mtamkumbuka 
Your Excellency report yote ile tunakuletea sio report yetu. Huwa tunatoa report kwa ground. Na mimi nataka mumwambie ground iko namna gani hapa Nairobi. Mnamwambia hasla iko namna gani? Sasa hiyo sio mimi nasema Your Excellency ni watu wako kutoka kwa ground ndio hao na wanashukuru zaidi nachukua nafasi hii ni muite coaches Gitahi ambaye ni kiongozi kutoka Dagoreti South aseme jambo moja tu kwa ufupi. Hustle vipi? Hustle poa na hasla. God is good all the time. And that is Okay, bona DP. Mi na kushukuru kwa vile mmetufanya si kama hasla wa Nairobi. Na usiogope na usigutuke. Tuko nyuma yako sisi kama vijana. Hata hata kama wanakuzuia macho macho yachu haizuii ngobe kunywa. Maji hiyo ni macho. Usijari hata usiogope hata kidogo. Si tuko nyuma yako. Uko uko ocha kusema kweli. Mi na kushukuru na wote vijana juu mmetukumbuka siku ya leo. Na tunakuomba tu hiyo neema umepewa na Mungu akuongezee unyoshe mkono utusaidie kabisa. Jua kuna mtu ametusaidia kusema kweli kutoka wakati 1963 wakati tulipata uhuru. Ni kweli ama ni uogo? Kwa hivyo hasila usiogope hata kidogo. Hata moyo walijaribu kumzuia asiogoze lakini ya Mungu akisema amese amesema na siku yako ni hii na tunakushukuru na kukuamini. Asante. Hamzambo God is good and all the time Thank you your excellency We are so humbled Na mimi kwanza kwa niaba ya mahasla wa Embakasi West Tunataka kusema hii ni privilege moja watu wengi wame, wameishi wakisemanga tunaonanga kwa TV si ni kweli na pia wacha nichukue hii fursa pia nimshukuru colleagues wangu mheshimiwa KJ Nikso na mheshimiwa Buda. Ni kwamba we ukilala uamke kuna siku yote ulifikiria unaweza come place kai. So your excellency we don't take this for granted. Any opportunity golden. Na your excellency mimi nataka kukuambia kitu moja. Out ndani yetu na kwa roho zetu we shall stand with you yetu yetu sio siri na mimi ukweli ile kitu nataka kusema ni kwamba hatuko hapa campaign lakini sisi tunataka kusema kitu moja hii post covid program ile his excellency the deputy president ameamua kutufanyia mtaani hii ina go way ahead kuliko ile so ama kuliko ile si unajua ile dona ya mtaani na kuanga pale na pale kwa sababu ile kitu DP ametufanyia leo ametugendwa eno na your excellency kama ujui watu wengi wako hapa hii kitu tumefanya leo na hii program umetusaidia nayo post covid kwa sababu unakuta kuna watu wako hapa walikuwa wale tunaitanga watu wa rodi saa hii matatu zimekatwa by in half kuna watu wako hapa walikuwa hawkers na bado ni hawkers na ile kitu umefanya tumeongezea value from what they are doing because out of what umewa empower nayo leo ile nusu ilikuwa inaingia kwa sababu ile nusu imekatika leo itaongezeka si ni kweli wase na your excellency mimi ninakuomba let's continue focusing on these people because one of the challenges mimi nazaongea ni kwamba watu wengi wako hapa wakikwambia ukweli kama leo asubuhi tukiongea ile bank watu wengi wako nayo hapa ile wanajua ni ile tunaitanga huko mtaani rahani kuweka vitu rahani sasa zile unataka do ya capital sometimes unapeleka simu yako kwa Shylock anakupatia ile anakupatia unaenda unafanya kazi unamrudishia na interest ndio unachukua simu yako si ni kweli wase na watu wako hapa si watu wanaweza kutetewa kwa bank kwa sababu hata kwa account hata <laughs> unasikia unasema hata wala account ile account inakuanga ni fuliza na fuliza pia ikiingia bado inatoka because bado kuna minus ziko hapo so your excellency ile kitu mimi nakuambia ni kwamba hawa watu 
ile kitu umetufanyia na umewafanyia we shall never forget what you've done and may god bless you for what you are doing your excellency nikimalizia mimi nataka kukuambia hivi kwa ndio baya wana Nairobi sisi tumesema peupe na mchana we shall stand with you we are the hustler nation and we appreciate because of you looking at us na pia wewe kuona sisi ni watu hiyo sisi hatuwezi sahau na sisi tunajua wanasema anga safari ya kesho huanza kupangwa leo sisi hatusemi campaign saa hii but we know where our eyes are looking at so support here to your excellency we appreciate what you are doing and we shall continue standing with you we shall continue praying for you and we shall continue hustling as a hustler nation your excellency with your permission allow me to invite kush kuja uonge your excellency kama unakumbuka siku ile ulikuja kwetu ile t-shirt ulivyoandikwa KCC ghetto youth huyu kijana na vijana wengine wa KCC ndio walikupatia so kush kwa niaba ya vijana wa embakasi west sema kitu and then excellency wabunge wetu na masuala wenzangu hamjambo some of us your excellency tulizaliwa na maisha thank you your excellency some of us tulizaliwa na maisha ngumu sana kukuja hapa kuona ndege wakitembea ni miujiza your excellency ni tuko na imani kwa hasula kuna at the end of each tunnel kuna light na light ndio your excellency Excellency BD yetu ndio tunaitwa wizi. Tunashukuru kwa ikombe ya chai Excellency. A good environment. Tunasamani asante. Sitasema mengi, mengi amesemwa. Lakini wa Excellency, in the book of Samuel ile story ya David. Everything that is happening now, you are our David, your Excellency. Uh, the officials wakutaka kuona David wali try each and everything kumweka chini hakuwa amezaliwa kwa familia za utajiri your excellency most of the things ni jasho yako usiogope we are playing our cards very very well at the ground wanaweza tudhulumu watufanye nini still tuta crow tufike penye tunaenda your excellency naweza pigwa naweza fanywa nini lakini my, my vote and that of my family najua penye inaenda na imeshafika ni siku tu ijafika nikimaliza your excellency nimetumwa salamu nyingi kutoka embakasi west especially kcc na your excellency tuna vijana huko na wamenyomba kitu moja tuko na uh, mradi wa biogas your excellency lakini tumekosa perimeter wall my part in short is this Your Excellency, how are we to All we just need is a chance, and you have given us a chance. Sometimes people misunderstand us. What we are to believe? Labda kwa sahi naweza sema natembea kwa hizo viatu because when somebody looks at me na hizi mabibi locks zangu, wanaona huni chali hawezi, lakini mimi ni MP. Ukweli ni kwamba Your Excellency hawa vijana unaona hapa hawa mama unaona hapa all we just need is to be given a chance and you have given us a chance you have believed in us as a hustler nation and we want to assure you that we will walk and we will show you that we can make you proud as a hustler nation hawa vijana hapa wengi ni wale upatana na madanse wanaumwa si ni kweli lakini haya ni watu saa hii hizi ni ma likiongea lugha ya mtai your excellency hizi ni mangori mingi sana umetutolea because hawa vijana wakiwa kwa kawo shawe vijana wakiwa pale wana print wengine wanafua nguo pale zile masimu si upigiwa tu watu wako police station saa hizi imepungua because hawa vijana saa hii kuna kitu ya maana wanafanya your excellency thank you god bless you for believing in us and we shall continue praying for you thank you mheshimiwa kori Thank you, Your Excellency. I just wanted to bring to your attention, Excellency, that uh, these are three leaders.
from every group that we've selected that uh, these uh, honorable members gave us. And they are representing around 500 to 600 youth kule mtaani. Kwa sababu kila group iko na vijana between 15 baka 30 si kweli. So your excellency tukiongea hapa ni kama tunaongelesha vijana 600 your excellency. So ni group kubwa sana na tunashukuru lakini pia kuna vijana wengi kule mtaani. Na nashukuru kwa sababu mmesema leo tunafanya hii next week tunafanya ile constituency zingine ile week nyingine tunafanya tunamalizia constituency zimebaki alafu tunarudia tena. Tufike wale pia hujafike wale vijana huko mtaani wakifika mtaani unajua watalete ngori nyinyi mbona mlienda sisi tu kwenda sina cheki. Mwambia tulie kidogo sikio inafika tunapanga na his excellency atasimama na sisi na tunashukuru your excellency. That is uh, what I wanted to say. Sasa nataka nichukue fursa your excellency kukaribisha chief hustler. Naomba tusimame tumkaribisha chief hustler mwenyewe. Your excellency karibu ongelesha watu wako your excellency. Tanteni sana. Waheshimiwa viongozi wenzangu bwana Buda Gakuya eh kutoka kule Mbakasi West ndugu yangu KJ kutoka hapa Dagureti na generali wa hapa Langata pamoja na viongozi wote hamjambo mambo ni aje hasol vipi Ebu mnigote kwa sababu sasa mambo ni hivyo. Very good. Asante sana. Kwanza mimi nachukua nafasi hii ni wakaribishe hapa Hustlers Mansion. Karibuni sana. Na karibu leo na mapenzi ya Mungu ikituruhusu karibu hizo siku zingine zote. Nime nimefurahi sana. Eh hata na huko pia tutakuwa <laughs> Nimefurahi sana mumetembelea leo kwa sababu ya shughuli hii. Mumekunywa chai hapa, hiyo siku ingine mkikuja mutakula lunch. Ni namna hiyo. Nataka niwashukuru waheshimiwa ndugu zangu hawa viongozi kwa sababu ndio tulikubaliana na wao tuweze kupanga kazi hii kwa sababu mnaelewa yale mambo ambayo yametukumba kama taifa na mambo ambayo yamekumba dunia mzima tatizo la covid ama hii pandemic ya corona imetuletea changamoto kubwa katika taifa letu na duniani kote muliona jana ndio tulikuwa na watu wengi zaidi kutangazwa nafikiri watu mia moja na karibu themanini na wawili wamepatikana na ugonjwa na matatizo ya coronavirus it is the highest ever since we started testing in Kenya kumaanisha kwamba changamoto hiyo ni hatari kubwa kwa afya yetu kwa biashara zetu kwa hasol zetu na kwa kazi ile nisa misikiti na sehemu zingine zote zimeadhirika na janga hili na mimi nataka niwaulize kabla sijasema yale ambayo imetuleta hapa nataka niwaulize nyinyi vijana watu wa Nairobi hii wa Kenya wa sehemu zote ya kwamba tuendelee na kuitikia na kufuata yale maagizo tumepatiwa na serikali ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaosha mikono mara kwa mara tunaweka ile social distancing na eh, eh, physical distancing tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunavaa mask vile kila mmoja wetu wako na mask hapa na tuhakikisha kwamba tunachikinga kwa sababu kuna watu wakipatikana na ugonjwa huo hasa wale walio na ile inaitwa um, conditions ambazo ziko tayari pre existing conditions kama mtu wako na eh, diabetes mtu wako na ugonjwa ule mwingine wa saratani mtu wako na eh, shida ya asthma na mambo yale mengine unaweza kuwa na hatari katika maisha yako na sisi wote mimi nawauliza ya kwamba tuko katikati ya shida ya corona 
vile muliona jana ndio tulipata watu wengi zaidi walio na shida hiyo na ugonjwa huo kwa hivyo tujihadhari tuendelee kuhakikisha kwamba tunafuata maagizo ili tuhakikisha kwamba watu wetu na wakenya wasipoteze maisha yao kwa sababu ya changamoto hiyo hasili ya watu wengi wafanyibiashara hoteli zimefungwa kioski zimefungwa boda boda hakuna kazi watu wa matatu makanga hawana kazi na tuko na matatizo katika kila sehemu na ndio sababu kama serikali tukiongozwa na rais muliona juzi ilitangazwa ya kwamba tutakuwa na stimulus program ama mpango maalum ya kujaribu kuokoa biashara zetu sekta mbalimbali mbali, ambazo zimepatikana na matatizo kufuatana na janga hili la coronavirus tayari bunge imepitisha katika sehemu zetu za mitaani hasa katika towns kubwa ambayo vijana wengi hasul zao zimepotea vijana karibu elfu kumi wataajiriwa wakiwemo vijana wa Nairobi hii katika ile mpango wa kazi mtaani hiyo ni mpango ya serikali ya kuhakikisha kwamba vijana wetu kule mtaani wanapata mapato ya kuweza kujimudu wakati tunashughulika na vile ya kutatua tatizo hili la corona vile vile tutaajiri walimu tena wengine karibu elfu kumi kama kuna vijana kule mtaani wameefuzu kupitia kwa colleges ya walimu watapata nafasi ya kuajiriwa vile vile tutahakikisha kwamba mambo ya maji mambo ya environment kushughulikia mambo ya eh, utalii na sehemu tofauti tofauti tumeweka karibu billion hamsini na saba ya kusaidia katika stimulus program ya kutoa biashara zetu hustle zetu wale ambao hana kazi kutafuta chakula katika sectors mbalimbali mbali, tuweze kukabiliana na janga hili kwa kusaidia wa Kenya kupitia msaada wa serikali mbali na msaada wa serikali kila mkenya mahali popote alipo pia ako na uwezo ya kusaidia mwenzake kwa sababu serikali haiwezi kufikia kila mtu serikali itafanya sehemu ile kubwa lakini hiyo haiwezi kuzuia makanisa misikiti community based organizations civil society organizations development partners na watu wengine wengi wenye nia njema kuchangia katika kusaidia wa Kenya kwa sababu ya hatari hii na kwa sababu ya changamoto tulio wamekosa chakula wamekosa kazi biashara imeharibika na ndio sababu leo tumekutana hapa mimi na marafiki na wahisani pia tuliona tutachangia katika hiyo harakati ya serikali kusaidia wananchi hii ni awamu ya kwanza vile wamesema hapa ndugu zangu waheshimiwa hii group ambazo ziko hapa karibu 30 iko na vijana karibu 500 600 ambao watafaidika katika awamu hii ya kwanza wiki ijayo tutakuwa na wengine karibu kiasi hiyo wiki inayofuata vile vile wiki hiyo inayofuata vile vile kwa sababu hatuwezi kufanya pamoja kwa sababu ya mambo ya social distancing na hatutaki kuatarisha maisha ya mtu yeyote mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba mpango huu mwisho wake in the next two or three months tunataka kufikia vijana elfu tano wa Nairobi tuweze kuwasaidia katika mahasol zao unajua wakati matatizo inatokea hasa ya biashara na uchumi wale wanaoadhirika zaidi ya wengine wote ni wale wako chini wale tunawaita vulnerable wale ambao hawawezi kwenda bank kukopa pesa wale ambao capital yao ni elfu tano, elfu mbili, elfu kumi, elfu hamsini mtu akichukua ile capital yake ambaye alikuwa anaendeshea biashara 1500 alipe naye rent na alipe naye chakula 
ile biashara inapotea na ndio sababu tumekuja hapa leo ili tuweze kuangalia ni vipi kati ya wale wako chini kwa sababu wale wako affected zaidi ni micro and small enterprises ile inaendeshwa na orphans inaendeshwa na widows inaendeshwa na single mothers inaendeshwa na single ladies inaendeshwa na reformers wa mambo ya eh, matatizo ya madawa ile inayoendeshwa na makanga na boda boda na wale watu wa chini na ndio sababu hiyo leo tumefika hapa na mpango huu na mimi nataka niwahakikishie tutakuwa hapa tena next week tutakuwa hapa tena wiki hiyo ingine mpaka tuwafikie vijana elfu tano wa Nairobi hii kuunganisha na wale serikali itawashughulikia wahisani wengine itawashughulikia na mimi nataka nishukuru development partners tuko na nchi nyingi ambazo zimeungana na sisi wakati huu katika changamoto hii kushughulikia vile wa Kenya watafufua biashara zao vile mahasla watafufua hustle zao tuweze kutembea pamoja na tuweze kurudi pale kila mtu anaweza kufanya biashara yake hata kama ni ndogo aweze kununua chakula aweze kulipa rent aweze kuendesha maisha yake na familia yake kwa hivyo i want to say this morning i am very happy as we look at what government of kenya has done as we propel the stimulus program that has been rolled out and parliament has already um, approved the budgets they are completing that approval process under the leadership of his excellency the president the government of kenya is rolling out a 57 billion stimulus program that will target various sectors including employment of young people under the Kazim Tahani program we are targeting close to um, 10 billion shillings under that program and we are looking at hundreds of thousands of young people participating in that program we are going to also employ about 10,000 teachers under that program we are going to employ healthcare workers under that program we are going to roll out water harvesting and other programs that will help alleviate food production make sure that young people have earnings that can help them especially in our informal settlements in the program that will ensure that we pull our citizens out of the economic hardship that has been precipitated by coronavirus and therefore as part of that program well wishers friends partners have joined me to provide these facilities I have said this is the first uh, phase of uh, a program that will eventually reach 5,000 young people in informal settlements in Nairobi. The team that is here is three representatives from every group. And uh, I want to thank the leaders who are here from your various groups. And I have said that the biggest and largest group that are affected by this corona pandemic and that has damaged their livelihoods are the people at the bottom of the pyramid the people who have no access to credit small businesses that are run by widows single mothers orphans young people people in informal settlements and that is why the identification process and i want to thank the members of parliament in our midst here we have people like luvi i'm told a single lady from embakasi west luvi ya kwapi eh hebu nikote luvi eh single lady kutoka kule embakasi ako na biashara na meungana na wa kenya wengine Tuko na Esther hapa kutoka Embakasi North. Ako hapi huyo Esther kutoka Embakasi North? Huyo Esther kutoka Embakasi North. She is 
uh, she's an orphan or a widow. She's an orphan. She's also teamed up with others so that we can, we can, they can do business and they can proceed. Asante sana. We have also Agnes from Embakasi. Eh, we are Agnes Pali. She is a widow, but you can see urban farming is part of her engagement with her group, and we have identified them as beneficiaries so that they can be part of this whole movement of trying to recover our businesses, our hustle. And in our midst here, we have Gaido. Paul Gaido Akohapa, Kutoka, eh, Uyo Mungwana, Kutoka Hapa Dagoreti. Eh, anafanya kawaj hapo, alikuwa na matatizo kidogo, so he's a reformer, and a reform kidogo kidogo. Gaido, tuko pamoja, sio? Eh, nikote hivi nione, kabisa, namna hiyo. Eh, tuko na Bob hapa, tuko na Galgalo hapa, kutoka Dagoreti, eh, South Vile Vile. Pia nao, wanaendesha biashara yao. Wabi Bob? Bob, yuko wapi? Berito. Berito, yuko pale. Mambo ni aje? Na hiyo ya kati kwa aje, hiyo ya kati yako hiyo? <laughs> ya mtani hiyo, ya sawa. So, hawa watu wote. So, we are pulling people from all sectors. And we want everybody to get an opportunity. Vile swagmaster alisema hapa, vijana wengi katika taifa letu la Kenya, Hawataki handout, wanataka opportunity. Na wakipatiwa chance sama opportunity, watajipanga na watahakikisha kwamba mambo yao inaenda sawa sawa. Na hiyo ndio mpango yetu. Mimi nataka niwatie moyo ya kwamba, where you are does not matter. Where you are going is what matters. Bora umejipanga na umeweka mambo yako sawa sawa, tutafaulu sisi wote. Tunaelewana? Ama ni aje wangwana? Tumakubaliana, sio? Therefore, mimi sitake kusama sana. Mimi nimefurai, e, leo umefika kwangu hapa. Safari hiyo ingine, nitakuja kule kwenu. He? He, kabla ya pale, nitawatembelea kwanza, ama? Ndiyo tuambatane na huko tukienda. <laughs> so, mimi nimefurai sana, nataka nichukue na fasi hii. Pia ni waulize wahisani wengine katika taifa letu la Kenya. Kama unaweza kumsaidia mtu mmoja ama wawili ama kumi, tafadhali hakuna msaada mdogo. Every support counts. So I want to ask well wishers, other Kenyans who are able development partners and I want to thank many development partners who have come on board to partner with the government of Kenya, to partner with civil society to partner with community-based organizations, to partner with us, so that we can support Kenyans from all walks of life and make sure that every Kenyan gets an opportunity to be the best that they can be. Na mimi sina taswishi ya kwamba hii msaada tunawapatia leo, itawasaidia, padilisha maisha yenu, muweze kukuza, kesho, munaweza kujinunulia hiyo ingine, na sisi wote tuendele pamoja. Kwa hivyo, nataka ni malizi hapo na mimi nataka ni waeleze mambo ya siyasa bado. Sasa ni kutafuta hustle. Kila mtu asimamie mambo yake. Kila mtu alipe rent yake. Asomeshe watoto. Upate biashara. Hiyo mambo ya siyasa itakuwa na wakati wake. Na tutanyorosha hiyo wakati huo. Saa hizi tujipange na hustle tujipange na biashara tujipange kuhakikisha kwamba kila mmoja wetu anafikia yale mipango Mungu amemsaidia na yale mipango kila mmoja wetu anapanga tunaelewana jameni tuko pamoja bas mimi nimeshukuru sana sitaki kusema najua nyinyi watu mnapanga na sitaki kuwachelewesha kwa sababu nikiwachelewesha hapa hustle itaharibika eh <laughs> eh tushakubaliana sivyo kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo tutasungumza zaidi wakati nitawatembelea kule ama wakati tutapata nafasi ingine ya kunitembelea tena mimi nawatakia heri 
mimi nawatakia baraka ya Mungu katika yale mambo yote mnashughulika nayo kama ni car wash kama ni laundry kama ni printing kama ni hiyo ingine ya urban farming hiyo the array of businesses that you are involved in mimi nawatakia baraka ya Mungu katika hizo mipango yenu yote na biashara zenu asanteni sana baraka nyingi na mkirudi nyumbani msalimie watoto wenu eh na kama uko na girlfriend usalimie girlfriend wako na kama uko na boyfriend usalimie boyfriend wako na usalimie wazazi wako sawa sawa eh mwambie hasla anasema tuko pamoja sawa sawa asanteni sana mbarikiwe